there are some pretty cool smart thermostats on the market. I just picked a couple up from Ace, and we're going to show you how to install one. All right, Gino, I made it back with the Honeywell Lyric thermostat. Now I understand this is a smart thermostat and you're gonna help me put it in today. That's right. So what makes it a smart thermostat is that it connects to your home Wi-Fi so that you can control it from your smartphone. Now we've installed thermostats here in the past on Weekend Workbench, but if this one works through my smartphone, does that mean it's gonna be complicated to install? Not at all. You just need a couple screwdrivers, a Phillips head and a flat head. If you're mounting it on drywall, you may need to drill and some drywall anchors. And we're not gonna be doing any drilling today, right? No, we actually have a, th a stud where our thermostat is, so we'll just be able to go right into the stud. You'll also need the thermostat, and the Honeywell Lyric we're installing today costs just under 300 bucks. Now we're gonna be dealing with electricity here, so what should we do? Right, so for safety, what you wanna do is make sure that the breaker or the manual switch on your furnace is turned to off. Okay. And we've already done that, so we're all set to go. Now it's time to say bye-bye to our basic not-so-techy thermostat. So what we have to do now is take a look at how the old base plate for the former thermostat was connected. Okay. There'll be some different colored wires. And what you want to do is make note of which color wire is going into which letter on the thermostat base plate. The um, W, mm -hmm. white, easy enough. A lot of the Wi-Fi thermostats require a C wire. Um, and you can see that this existing one does not have a C wire. But it's not gonna throw off the functionality of this unit? We already know that the Honeywell Lyric will work without the C wire. We unscrew the old base plate and put the new circular one on, threading the wires through the center hole. And there's actually a handy level right at the bottom there. We're gonna reuse one of the existing holes from the stud and then we're just gonna screw in the bottom screw. Technology comes into play on our next step, so Gino gets out his smartphone. So we'll just basically let it let the app know that the old thermostat used these wires and this is what they were plugged into. Okay. So I'm gonna reconnect everything now. So these should just push right in. Now that we have all the wires in the corresponding holes, what do we do next? Now we just pop the faceplate on and then it should feel pretty secure. And now in order for it to turn on and start functioning, we're gonna have to turn the power back on downstairs. So now that we have it all wired up and we turned it on, the Lyric will create a wireless network uh, that we'll connect to using our smartphone. Okay. We then head back into the Lyric app and follow the instructions providing info about this home's heating and cooling setup. The very last step is to connect the device to our home Wi-Fi network. The Lyric does everything a programmable thermostat does. Plus, it has a few other intelligent features. You can set your away temperatures to automatic or manual right here. Right, and so basically automatic means that it will use your smartphone to determine whether or not you're at home. Really? So yeah. it's gonna know when you're outside? It's always watching. Right. The feature that controls that is the geofencing, so it knows the exact geo coordinates of your home based on your smartphone. So when you leave, the app will automatically tell the thermostat, hey, set to the away setting, that way it saves energy. What about when you're away, but you still have people in your house and you wanna keep the temperature consistent? Right, so for that, you'll wanna use the manual setting instead of the automatic geofencing option. Uh, it'll also work with multiple smartphones. So okay. as long as someone is home, uh, it will continue to preserve the temperature. For less than 300 bucks, and in about 20 minutes, we have a smart heating and cooling system that we can control with just a touch of a button. Thanks a lot, Gino. Always a pleasure. Shh.